Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Today's story is called Mia and Nadi, One Great Team. Written by Malin and Bell, illustrated by Grace Sanford. Now this wonderful book is about a sweet little girl who showed a lot of kindness to a sweet little lamb. Now let's see what happens. Let's get started. Mia heard a soft bar near the barn. In the sheep pen, she found newborn Natty alone and hungry. Natty's mom had left her behind because she didn't have milk to feed her. You're small like me, Mia said, grinning at the tiny lamb cradled in her arms. Mia brought Natty into the laundry room to warm her. I hope Grandma will let me keep you inside, Mia said. And Natty's mouth curved upward, and she bawled in a weakened voice. Mia could see that Natty's mouth was a little crooked, and her legs were a bit shorter than usual, and one horn was too straight, like a unicorn's horn. But Mia thought Natty was perfect. Now, Mari needed milk every few hours, and Mia warmed the bottles and tried to be a good mama to the little ship. But no matter how much Mia wished that a lamp would grow, Nadi stayed small, just like Mia. And in a hurry, Grandma nearly tripped over Nadi in the kitchen. Mia knew Nadi couldn't stay inside forever, but she hoped Grandma would give her some more time. She needed to help the little lamp get stronger. Now the day came. When Grandma said, Ship belongs outside. Oh, no! Mia wasn't ready. She loved Natty's calming manner. The lamp made her feel special and tall instead of ordinary and small. And Mia knew what she had to do. She had to teach Nadi how to live like the other sheep. So Mia made Nadi a pen in the backyard. And that afternoon, <laughs> Nadi left the laundry room for good. <laughs> Nadi cried for a little while. But Mia stayed with her until she felt comfortable in her new home. And Mia changed Nadi's feeding plan as she grew. She was no longer a baby lamb. She was ready to learn how to become a grown eel. Now tiny Natty studied the ways of all the sheep. She ate grass and tasty weeds, and she had grain and hay, and drank water instead of milk. But Natty would never be big enough to live with the rest of the flock. She was too small to raise babies of her own. <laughs> Your lamb needs a home. 
Grandma said to Mia. She has one. Please, let me keep her. Mia hugged Nadi's neck. And Mia squinted back tears before she fell on Nadi's wall. Hmm. A neighbor wants to buy her. Grandma said, and then she spun around and walked to the barn in silence. Now Mia had to find a way for Nadi to stay. And while Mia thought, another sheep had her babies. Mia found three lambs in the straw around lunchtime and two lambs had lots of room to get milk from their mom but they crowded out the smallest triplet brother grandma one lamb needs more milk can we bottle feed him Mia asked. Now grandma hesitated a moment and then she picked up the weak lamp and she said, Maybe. He's small like Natty and she's alone. I'll take him to her. Mia said. And the triplet grew fast with Mia feeding and Natty watching over him. He soon joined his brothers and the rest of the sheep. Natty is a terrific nanny, Mia said. She looked at Natty and thought she caught her smiling. Nadi can't give us baby lambs. The neighbor's home is the best place for her. Grandma said. I know there's something that Nadi can do on the farm. Mia answered. And Grandma turned away, shaking her head. <sighs> Now Mia had to come up with a plan. Mia couldn't break Nadi's heart. She wouldn't break Nadi's heart. So Mia watched Nadi rub her woolly body against the fence post. Grandma, a wool itches. Can we shave it off? Mia asked. No sharing today. Grandma snapped. My best hue is sick. Put the sheep with Nadi. She helps me a lot when I'm sad. Mia said. But Grandma stayed quiet. Try it, please. Mia pleaded. Let her help. Now, finally, Grandma shrugged and she walked to the barn to get the sheep. And a few minutes later, Grandma's tied sheep lay down in the grass and Natty's mouth curved into a smile as she laid next to her. Nadi will walk a magic. Just watch, Mia said. Now Nadi's coming magic happened and Grandma's favorite sheep began to eat the grass. And Mia laughed as Nadi and the sheep grazed on the grass together.
Well, look at that. Grandma pointed to the pair. Nadi and the older Hugh jumped and pranced about. I knew she would help. Mia lifted her shoulders, feeling ten feet tall. And Grandma winked at Mia. You were right, little one. Not as handy to keep on the farm. <laughs> then you won't sell her? Mia asked. Nadi is your ship forever, Grandma said. And Mia scratched Nadi's woolly ear and hugged her. And the two little friends made a good team. Nadi snuggled close to Mia and gave her a crooked smile. And Mia said, Nadi, we will raise the offerings together. Welcome to the farm. The end. What a wonderful, wonderful story. Thank you so much for joining us again, boys and girls, for this wonderful story time. We thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon. Bye.